It's Thursday, 7-7, July the 7th. Hey there, I'm Ashton Alatiri. We do anticipate more showers and thunderstorms in Colorado today, but without the intensity like we had yesterday, we're not going to have as much coverage either. Uh, we did have numerous reports of some hail, wind, and even two likely tornadoes in eastern Colorado. Neither one of them uh, caused any injuries, but a few uh, downed power poles, some snap trees, one tornado near La Hunt to the other near Fort Morgan and Brush. The severe weather threat for today is lower overall, but we do have a marginal threat on the eastern plains for a thunderstorm producing some hail or wind. It's unlikely that we'd have any severe thunderstorm warnings in the Denver metro area, but not impossible because we will see a few storms today. Again, most of the action will be out here on the plains. Fewer storms overall compared to yesterday and intensity will be less as well. Overnight tonight, we'll see that thunderstorm activity come to an end. Tomorrow, chance for storms is even smaller compared to today. And by the time we get to the weekend, chance for storms will be near zero as this big ridge of high pressure that's over over Arkansas right now retrogrades back toward us, moves west as we approach the weekend. This is like a big mountain of heat that'll be parked right over Colorado for Saturday and Sunday. So sunny and hot statewide, even in the mountains, it's going to be quite toasty and almost no chance for storms anywhere in the state for the weekend. Temperatures today will be in the 60s and 70s in the high country, upper 80s in Denver. A few areas could hit 90 today, but far more likely will be in the 90s for tomorrow. And then we just crank up the heat even more for the weekend. 98 on Saturday, 99 on Sunday. First alert weather day is possible both days this weekend as we do anticipate the National Weather Service issuing a heat advisory for the uh, Denver metro area. And not only is it going to be hot, we could be talking record heat. Uh, record on Saturday is only 98. I say only because it's one of the lowest high record high temperatures we have in the month of July. Most of them are in the triple digits. Early next week, temperatures uh, drop to around 90. Continued chances for showers and storms looks like each and every day next week. Don't forget, Lauren's coming up tonight with your latest forecast. CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 10. We'll see you then. And over on the stream, your latest weather every 10 minutes. CBS News, Colorado. Have a great Thursday.